air cleaner, I'm sure, was on a tier zero. When we get to tier one, we definitely have a radiator now, in most cases, and we're going to have a turbocharger. Now, turbocharging has changed a lot since tier one to tier four. I'm not going to get into that today, but there's, there's multiple tur turbochargers on some of these engines. There's variable geometry turbochargers. It's a conversation that could go on for quite a long time, so I'm going to leave that part out. All right? Just know that now we're at tier one. This is how the engine looks. Okay? Still relatively simple. Now we transition into tier two and tier three, and we have two main components added. An ECM, engine control module, a computer. The engine is now computerized. Now I need a Palm Pilot or a laptop to troubleshoot it. It's, po it's popping out codes. I've got to read codes now. I have experience with this. It's a pain. <laughs> it was a pain, anyway. Long learning curve on that. Okay, luckily we're down the road now. I think they've got all the bugs worked out. But when I was introducing Tier 2 into the marketplace and the products that I was building, this was a problem because these codes were coming out. We didn't understand them. The engine also grew. It got bigger. So we had the issues with that. And we are added an air-to-air -air cooler, charge air cooler. So now I've got more piping requirements. As we get into Tier 4 now, we're going to introduce the EGR DPF system. And now we're going to go ahead and put that EGR system in. So as I mentioned earlier, that system is going to recirculate the exhaust gas back in the combustion chamber. Typically, they're cooled EGRs where it's like a heat exchanger, right? We're taking the heat out of that exhaust so we can reduce the combustion temperature to lower the NOx. With that, because we lower the NOx, we've got to add, right, the DOC, diesel oxidation catalyst in some instances, and a DPF. So when we get to Tier 4 in an EGR DPF scenario, the engine now looks like this. Okay, so we've got a lot more accessories on there now. We've got a lot more requirements. We need to understand what the regen cycle is. We'll talk more about that in a second. Okay, so when you see these engines, they've got more canisters on them, you'll notice. Okay, you'll see turbos in different places. You're going to see a charge air cooler, right? So this is the evolution from Tier 0 to Tier 4, a lot of stuff. And it's the only way to do it, emissions-wise.